Curious to know about how I help busy professionals prevent toxic energies and distractions from negatively impacting their health and well-being so that they can focus on the things that really matter to them? Head on to my website at wafabula.com to find out more about the specific program I designed for you, my approach, and what other people have to say about me. If you enroll now before my upcoming next lunch, you'll receive a special early bird discount for working privately one-on-one -on -one with me. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about a topic that is not usually often talked about. And that is, how to stand strong in the face of a mean and a rude coworker. Dealing with these situations are very tricky because at the workplace, of course, uh, you have a limited reach when it comes to reacting and defending yourself because people watch you, you're observed, and no matter how you react in both cases, it's sure that you think that it's clearly unfair and mean, nobody has to be treated that way, and it even probably disappoints you and makes you lose faith in people around you. In this video, I'll show you a three-step process to approach these tricky situations in a detached way. You'll learn how to reaffirm yourself, set up clear boundaries with people around you, and also don't let these conflicts consume you from within. Step number one, switch your thinking pattern. When faced with these tricky situations at the workplace, it's really important that you don't take it personally and think that you're the problem. I know how hard it is not to feel weak, alone, and vulnerable in these moments. And so whenever I experienced conflicts like that, the first thing I would do is to think that I was the huge problem. I was, it was me, it was all about me, and it was happening to me, and it was me, 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 me. Hey, in that conflict, there are two people involved. It's not just you. So in most cases, that type of situation has more to do with them rather than you. Most of the time when people lash out at you, disrespect you, belittle you, make you feel unworthy, insecure, it has a lot to do with how they feel about themselves and about their inadequacies, their insecurities, rather than with you. Sometimes these people who are mean to you, they happen to be mean to you just because you were around them, just because they're under such pressure and they have so much to do that it's their only way of letting stuff out. They're still human beings. They're still trying to figure their things out and they have moments of weaknesses sometimes. So reminding yourself to be compassionate and, and say, yeah, they messed up. It's about them, it's not about me. Will help you protect your self-esteem and avoid falling in the trap of, oh, it's my fault, I'm unworthy. I'm a liability to this team. I didn't do my job. I'm a failure. I should feel shameful and sad and unworthy and so on. No, these are lies. Again, it's not about you, it's about them. Another great thing you can do is to leverage that experience so it works for you, not against you. So the way it works against you is what I just said, thinking that you're it's your fault, that you're a burden, and you know, it's just that self-sabotage speech that runs uh, on repeat in your head. No, no, no. What you can do so that this experience works for you is to look at it from a transformational perspective. And so in this case, you ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? What does it tell me about me? How do I react under pressure? How do I react to these conflicts? Experiencing that means that there was something for you to see in that confrontation. Step number two, reaffirm who you are. Okay, the idea here is super simple. People cannot have power over you unless you allow them to. That simply means that whenever a coworker lashes out at you and is rude to you, their judgment impacts you if you buy into it. If you already think little of yourself and you're unsure about what you have to bring to the company, if your self-esteem is already pretty weak, then them lashing out at you that way in front of everybody is going to humiliate you and you will start questioning your worth, you will start questioning your identity, you will start questioning what you bring to the team and the company as a whole. So ways you can detach yourself from other people's judgment are positive affirmations and mantras about yourself. The goal for you here is to reaffirm what your identity is built upon, what your self-esteem is based on, and keep in mind your strength and what you have to bring to the company. There are positive affirmations about yourself like, I learn fast, 
or I'm a good communicator, I'm worthy and capable. These are examples of positive affirmations and mantras you can repeat along the day, maybe first thing in the morning when you wake up or whenever you have a moment of doubt about yourself, whenever you're stressed out, during a conflict like that, or before bed when you journal. Remember that you are not your emotions. Whenever you feel sad, whenever you feel angry, or frustrated, or whatever the emotion is, remember that they are not you, you are not them. Emotions are felt and experienced, and you need to let them pass through you and be aware of them, but don't identify yourself to them. So whenever a coworker is mean to you, if you feel sad afterwards, then you have a relationship with sadness, you feel sad. You are not sad. You see the difference that it does? A relationship can be broken anytime. Feelings pass through us, but they are not eternal. But if you identify yourself with the emotion, then it's everlasting. And you must not stay there. So remember to really pay attention to how you describe your emotions and don't identify with them but rather just let them flow through you. It's extremely normal after a conflict like that, for example, to feel sad or angry or frustrated and so on. And in those cases, just let the emotions pass through you and take the time to process them. Another thing you can do to reaffirm who you are and stand strong is to set clear boundaries. You should carry yourself like the valuable member of the team that you are. You're working in that team for a reason. You deserve your spot and you have a lot to offer. Remember these things and whenever someone treats you with less respect than you deserve, set clear boundaries by telling them in a very concise, polite and professional way that they overstepped in boundaries and that you deserve to be spoken and treated with respect. If this is something that is not possible within your organization because of the office politics or because there's a long history of people mistreating their employees and that you are aware that where you are right now is a very toxic working environment and that there is little left to be done, then you might want to switch jobs. Reaffirming your worth and standing strong for who you are will have people respect you more. Step number three, be the change you want to see. Have hope and believe that things will get better. Don't give up on the possibility that you can experience kindness and deep connection in the workplace. I know that whenever you experience conflicts like that and are stuck in tricky situations like that where you're disrespected and not recognized at your worth, you start losing faith in the whole organization. And you start thinking that it'll be like that forever in your industry no matter where you work. And because you've asked around, you notice that people who worked before you or your other co-workers are treated in the same way and you start thinking that this is an epidemic and there's nothing you can do about it and you start getting tremendously disappointed and losing faith in your work and your mission as a whole. So free yourself from that belief system that in order to survive in that industry in which you have lost faith on, you have to actually fight back and constantly be mean back and re take revenge and do the same things that have been done to you to other people. And so whenever you gain more power and reach managerial positions, then you too can lash out other people and make them pay for what other people before have done to you. Please do not fall into that trap. Remember, actions have consequences. And so whenever you're faced to someone that disrespects you and that's mean to you in the office, Again, it has everything to do with them and their self-esteem and what do they think of themselves because whenever we lash out or mistreat someone, it says some things about us. And so we might be fine now in front of other people. You know, it might boost our ego, it might give us a sense of power and entitlement. But in the evening before going to bed, what do we think of ourselves? It is unhealthy for your mental, spiritual and physical health to be mean to others and treat them with less respect than they deserve. So for the benefit of your own health, focus on yourself. Let go of the desire to revenge. The way they reacted is totally part of their journey and has everything to say about them. They'll have to deal with that because again, as I said, it translates some deep unfulfillment in their life and it's up to them to actually face it and address it. You can't do that for them. You know, seeking revenge and causing them more pain later on 
won't help you. It'll cause you more harm than good. So don't waste your time playing those little games. Rather, just if you want to be healthy and fulfilled and aligned with who you are, we really just detach yourself from these things and be inspired by the fact that you can be the change you want to see. Focus your energy on being the inspired leader that so many other people around you are longing to see in you. And as promised, if you're a busy professional looking to find out how to prevent toxic energies and distractions that they may experience at the workplace from affecting their personal health and well-being so that they can focus on the thing that really matters to them and you're ready to receive the guidance of a professional who has been in your shoes, then definitely feel free to reach out. Head on to my website to find out more about the specific program I designed for busy professionals just like you. And if you register before my next launch beginning of the year, you'll get a special early bird discount for working one-on-one -on -one with me. So you don't want to miss that. All right, as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, subscribe and share with someone else who needs to learn how to stand strong in the face of another mean coworker. Don't forget to hit the notification bell not to miss my next video. And in the meantime, to your health and success. Bye.